Well, here's my last attempt at an electric chainsaw. You can see the uh, little motor in there. Got a bigger motor now. Bear claw. Yeah, I've got the bear claw motor all torn apart. I have to say, I'm kind of impressed. The uh, end bell actually has a bearing in it. And the front has a bearing in it too. I'm thinking I'm going to cut this side of the casing out so that that's wide open and then that'll be where the chain comes in and out. Got this piece of aluminum out of here. I drilled the uh, bolt out of this thing that I welded in. Crooked. <laughs> and uh, yeah, fits really nicely down onto here. Okay, well, I found a piece of rod in my scrap bin that fit perfectly when cut into six pieces in between the teeth and the drum here. I'm gonna go ahead and weld these uh, rods to this drum. I'm gonna try not to weld them to the gear in here so that this whole thing can be removed because it'll have to be removed if I ever want to replace this chain. Okay, it's all welded up, so here's the moment of truth. Come on, you. Yep, still comes off. Nice. After a bit of welding and more work with the rotary tool than I want to think about, I've got a uh, splined driving the fox up. That is as far down as it'll go unless I do more grinding, which I really don't want to do, so I suspect I'll just set the uh, blade about there. I finally worked out how I was going to mount this thing. That was to uh, drill a little hole through the end of this here so I could just run a piece of wire through like a cotter pin. It's a great idea, except the little drill bit snapped off inside and I can't get it out no matter what I try. Well, that took way longer than it should have, but got it in here. I just ended up cutting a slit in it, put a piece of copper wire in it, and then welded it over the top. The steel didn't stick to the copper wire, so I just pulled it out again afterwards, and yeah, so I can just stick a piece of steel wire through here, like a cotter pin, that'll hold this on. It won't really have anything pulling it up, so should be fine. I mean, I probably could have even just, you know, tapped this onto the shaft gently with a hammer and left it, and it would have been fine, but I like to be on the safe side, and that just cost me a couple hours. <laughs> looking at my Harbor Freight chainsaw, and looking at my dad's Husqvarna, They've both got these spikes on them. I think those are to sort of let you lever the blade into logs. At least that's what I use them for. And now my 12 volt chainsaw has them too. <laughs> I just took a piece, the uh, original end piece here, set it over an old saw blade, did some spray paint transfer to find the holes. Drilled it up. And yeah. <laughs> got this whole bracket built up here for the blade. Seems to work pretty well. I don't have a tensioner on it yet. And uh, as you can see, it kind of sticks out further than my wood grabbing my fucks it. I might just leave it. I like the look, or I might just cut it straight across. Well, I did end up cutting the teeth off it. They just didn't fit the function. Anyway, I've got the uh, plate on here. I made these screws out of the bars that were in here, connecting it to the other side of the winch. Just cut them off with the angle grinder and cut a slot in them with a hacksaw. Worked pretty well. And yeah, got them all welded into the rest of this assembly here. No, no um, guards or really safety features of any kind. It's gonna only go well, right? <laughs> Thinking I will build um, the handle off of here. And then build some kind of uh, maybe a bracket using the motor screws and end up with something like that. This handhold has a shield. Good thing mine has a shield too. And my shield used to be a propane tank. And if you think that's a silly way to do a handle, wait till you see what I'm doing for the back handle. It's ergonomic. Also still kind of warm. I'd make chainsaw noises, but it's electric, so it'd just sound like mm. And I went ahead and added a little switch to this thing here. Now, this isn't going to be the on-off switch for the motor. I don't think it'd handle that for long. But it's just going to be a safety switch. So yeah, uh, it'll have a safety. Because, 
you know, what saw that looks like this and has that scary son of a bitch on the back of it doesn't just exude safety. Doesn't pine scent in here now. Good news and bad news. Good news is my uh, starter relay came. It's a Ford style starter relay. It's probably a little overkill for this to be honest, but um, well, overkill is underrated. I don't want to build it twice. Speaking of building it twice, and also the bad news, uh, the handle's kind of in the way. So, yeah, you can see where I've marked it. I did buy it a power cord though. I'm not sure if this means that the cables themselves were gored by an ox, or that I'm going to be gored by an ox, or what it means, but hopefully there's no uh, obligation to be gored by an ox here, because that doesn't sound like much fun. Not too bad, considering it's made from a piece of copper pipe I tore off a refrigerator. And to clearance the handle enough to install my uh, starter relay here. And yeah, so I got my jumper cables all cut up. Feels kind of weird to cut up something brand new for a change, but hey. Just to um, test the solenoid here, obviously this isn't anywhere near the load it would see in normal use, but works just fine. Okay, I've got the wiring just about wrapped up here. I don't have my trigger switch yet, so I can't finish it, but I have wired up my safety switch here. So, if I turn that on, the little indicator light comes on. It's just a red LED with a uh, 1K resistor in line with it. I got my new trigger switch. It's a momentary type, because of course. And yeah, there used to be a bit of handle here, and then I realized I really needed to get rid of that to get the switch in, so did that. I suppose a little planning on this build might have saved me some time, but oh well. Okay, well I'm not going to call it finished, but I think it's pretty well together here. Got her all painted up. Got my switches on here. I'll show you what those do in a minute. Probably guess though. Got kind of a cord holder here to keep that all contained. I might improve this at some point. I'm not totally happy with it yet. But yeah, got it all put together. I think it turned out pretty nice. I just kind of camo painted it because you don't really have to care too much about surface finish and it's a chainsaw. All right, so just a quick explanation of the electrical system here. I got two switches. Basically positive goes to this switch, then it goes to that switch, then it goes to the solenoid. Okay, so first um, <laughs> a nearly full functionality test. Warning light is on. And... <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Sweet. I was having a little trouble figuring out this tensioner, so I went and marked it out to within a 64th of an inch. And I think I've got a pretty good design going here. So now I'm going to take my uh, super precise plans and uh, take an angle grinder and some rusty scrap metal and some random fasteners and try to make something vaguely resembling that, and then probably wallow out the uh, holes with the cordless screwdriver until the damn thing fits. Well, it bears a passing resemblance to the drawing. I did have to do a fair bit of file work on one of the holes, because I managed to get it way off somehow, but it should work. Okay, I've got my tensioner all set up here. I ended up going with two screws on it instead of one like you normally see, mostly just because I had a bunch of slop and I figured this would be the best way to hold that under control, just from, you know, oversized bolt holes and that kind of stuff. But yeah, could stand some paint and it'll get it sooner or later, but I'm thinking I'll probably incorporate the oiler into the top of one of those plates, probably the back one, and maybe hook in some kind of guard for the upper chain as well. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do that yet, so I'll get some paint on the tensioner, I'll get the oiler set up, then I might do sort of a, a test video on this thing and put that up, so keep an eye out for that if you want to see that. And yeah, thanks for playing along.